Now, what happened to, with the paella? The, the, the 19, the, sorry, the 2006 law made certain changes in the law, specific changes which created problems. Right, the first is the paella eliminated the break-even constraint. So the Postal Service was no longer obliged to break even. And it imposed inconsistent mandates on the Postal Service. It said, Postal Service, you have to pay an extra $4 billion into retiree health care benefit fund. And at the same time, the paella said, but you cannot raise rates. You can't raise rates to cover the, the extra payments. It was simply impossible for the Postal Service to do both at the same time. In addition, the paella, because the price cap was tied to the consumer price index, created a rather inflexible situation from the standpoint of the Postal Service, because postal costs vary primarily with volume, not with changes in the consumer price index. So for example, if the mailman comes to your house with 10 letters, and next year he comes to your house with 20 letters, it doesn't cost him 20, twice as much to deliver 20 letters. By the same token, if he comes to your house next year with only five letters, he hasn't saved half of his costs. If you, the Postal Service had been allowed to increase its rates to cover the added costs that were created by the paella, and if the Postal Service had been allowed to make adjustments in their prices to, to offset the decline in, in the volume, roughly speaking, the Postal Service would have broken even over the last five years. 